my family doesn't even ask me to go out to dinner anymore because they know it's too difficult for me to leave the house. And really, I can't wait for them to leave because it is the only way I can eat what I want without shame. What's up guys, welcome back to Plot Twist and another video in our Worst Eater series. Season six was really a pivotal season for the show and the meals only got weirder. Before we dive in though, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Plot Twist for more. Now let's dive into the worst eaters that season six had to offer. Ugh. They got a grease right here. Right here, you two of them. Okay, come on. Shanae is one of the worst eaters we've ever seen, and not just in this season. She barks orders around the grocery store and makes her boyfriend get two buckets of grease. She also says she needs to stock up on sugar as she can't eat spaghetti without it. We need some sugar. I need it. I can't eat spaghetti without sugar. I wanted some chocolate milk, but how about we just go ahead and get the strawberry? She then continues to load up on chips, cookies, ice cream, snacks, and so much more. When she gets too tired to even wheel around, she makes him leave her in an aisle while people stare at her. Anything that she desires, she gets it. If I don't get it work she wants, she'll be pissed off and like she'll get really mad. So I just get it for her. When I go shopping, people have a lot of stares. Like, look at her, she's so big. And people video record me. It makes me feel like after leaving the grocery store, it's off to a restaurant for some fried jumbo shrimp to go. Anything she asks for, she gets. I want my fried jumbo shrimp. When I'm hungry, I need food immediately. Fried shrimp is one of my favorite foods. She can't even wait to get home to eat it. She has to eat it right there in the driver's seat. Now that is a 600 pound lifestyle. Food is here, Shanae. Who's that? This is... Freddy's. Here's yours, mom. For dinner, her mom delivers her a giant box of Chinese food. She has an enormous tray of lo mein and polishes it all off in just a few bites. God only knows what else was in that box. Just a few minutes into her drive to Dr. Now's, she's digging into sandwiches she packed in a Tupperware container. She seriously can't stop. I know it. this is bad for me and I'm trying to stick to the diet, but it's very hard. It's gonna be difficult for me, but I wanna try. Even when she starts dieting, it's not good. She considers a fried chicken biscuit, three sausage patties, and some eggs a healthy breakfast. She makes multiple fast food trips too, especially after getting upset after a fight with Freddy. For four months, I have seen you from day one. You have not any weight. Plus, the hospital staff not only seen you eating pizza, but burgers, and then you smart enough not to throw it to your own trash, throw it to somebody else's trash. I'm telling you, doctor, I got water You away. should have lost 130 pounds by now. Are you eating this junk and no. you keep lying to me? She didn't eat I'm it. not eating any of that. Then how come you're not losing weight? I haven't ate anything. You keep repeating the same lie. She didn't now do it. Telling you the truth. Like, I'm, I wouldn't lie about that. When Dr. Now discovers she's been sneaking pizza into the hospital, he gives her the tough love she desperately needs to get a grip on reality. There is no reason why she should have gained 50 pounds in the hospital. Food gives me a feeling that I can't explain. From the moment I wake up, that's all I'm waiting for. And for a brief moment, all the pain and all the misery of my life is gone. Sarah starts her day with a hefty portion of eggs and cheese, four fatty sausage links, multiple hash browns, and damn near an entire loaf of toasted bread. Naturally, she dips it all in ketchup, the only serving of vegetables she'll get all day. There's never a moment I don't want to eat. I sit here until I get it. And that's pretty much what my mom does for me all day. Just a few moments later, she is served lunch. It's some mushy yellow casserole that looks like potatoes and cheese with some bread. It's not a good sign if I can't make out what the food is on that plate, and it would be helpful if there was at least one green veggie on it. Sarah has to have snack cakes, cookies, ice cream, things of that nature. Always something with sugar. Things that are not good for her. Just it seems like the worse it is for her, the more she likes it. Anything else? I need something salty. I don't care what it is. Immediately after finishing dinner, her mom hands her a couple of Twinkies while complaining about how much she eats. Then her mom asks if she wants anything else. Of course, Sarah needs to complain that now she needs something salty after the Twinkies. I think that I will be able to make this tater heart casserole and be able to enjoy a little bit of it and have it one last time before surgery. Her last supper before her surgery is a giant fatty tray of macaroni and cheese. She says one last cheat meal won't hurt, but we all know that's a slippery slope. You want pierogies? If they have them, yeah. 
Okay. Okay. Anything else? They, they're really good bread there. Italian bread. The bread. Please. Yeah. Okay. How many, Rob? Two loaves. Two loaves. Yeah. That'd be fine. No vegetables, Rob. <laughs> no vegetables. <laughs> right. See you, baby. See you later. Bye bye. Robert dictates a list of food he needs from the grocery store so his mom can go and get it. When he asks for bread, she doesn't even question it, she just asks how many loaves. He even jokes with her, making sure she doesn't buy any vegetables. His mom hugs him before she leaves for the grocery store, a clear sign that she enables and babies him. Does the smell uh, bring back memories of the chicken store? Yes. <laughs> I'm full, but this is just too good. Oh. Don't force it. I may have like, like two more of the wings, but otherwise I'm done. Speaking of babying him, she literally puts a bib on him before she serves him dinner. He goes to town on chicken wings and keeps eating even when he says he's full. Everyone insists he can have some leftovers tomorrow, but he can't help but compulsively eat everything. So far, this is the trip from hell. We're only a third of the way to Houston, and I don't know how we're going to do this at the rate we're going. Only a third of the way to Houston, they have to stop at a hotel. Robert is demanding constant stops to eat, and so the trip takes a few days longer than it should. After getting some sleep, we hit the road early, but we're not moving any faster than we did yesterday because of the constant stops to eat or take bathroom breaks. Robert lays in the back of the van with a giant bag of chips on his giant belly, unbothered that he's the problem. I did. No, I was up, but I was trying to turn around in bed and sit, because so I was hanging off the bed. We're gonna have to call the paramedics. We need to get a lot of this stuff out of the room. Robert, we're gonna have a roll into your right, but don't do anything yet. Okay. This morning, Catherine went out to get breakfast and Robert fell badly in the hotel. They had to call paramedics and send two teams out to get him, even moving all the furniture out of the room. The whole time, Robert was probably only worried about his ex getting cold. It's a sad life and apparently this sort of thing happens often. Don't expect anything better from James L.B. Bonner. When your nickname is literally the abbreviation for pounds, you know you've gone overboard with your weight. I know my mom wants me to stop eating as much as I do, but it's funny, if I don't ask for something, she won't say anything, and she gets it for me. But if I do ask for something, she gives me this look or this tone. Then she gets passive aggressive about it. Is that what you want? You don't have to turn around and be a smart ass about it like that. So when it starts to get to that point, I figure it's just time to go home. On a trip to the grocery store, it becomes obvious on how his weight became so bad. He asks his mom to grab him all sorts of junk food and nonsense and tells his mom to not be a smart ass about it. He even leaves upset with his mom for trying to say no to certain foods, but judging by the way he's sweating, he really needs to start eating better. God, just leave me the hell alone about it. You don't it. think I felt your anxiety in the damn grocery store? Then you should I keep trying to bring it up. I probably need a breather if you want to know the damn truth. He even fights back against his mom, who only wants the best for him. He says that even when he doesn't ask for junk food, his mom goes ahead and buys it for him anyway. But LB, you're a grown man, so you should know better than to scarf down thousands of calories in just one sitting. Both he and Robert have some serious mommy issues. My family doesn't even ask me to go out to dinner anymore because they know it's too difficult for me to leave the house. And really, I can't wait for them to leave because it is the only way I can eat what I want without shame. Then you're probably, would you like to try to give me some pizza for 6 dollars each? While her family goes out for dinner, Karina stays home because it's too difficult to go by herself. She loves being left alone though because she can eat whatever she wants and nobody says a thing. So she ordered two medium pizzas with sausage and pepperoni, one order of cheese sticks, 24 honey chipotle wings, and a giant dessert brownie. While she waits though, she wheels herself over to her recliner chair where she hides all her snacks. I hide my stash in the recliner. Chocolate is very irresistible for me. I want it all the time. Today we're having our weekly family dinner. And I'm using today to let my family know that I'm going to try to get help. In the morning, she plays a totally different role and starts cutting up vegetables and preparing something healthy. But when it's time to actually eat, she eats four tacos and loads up her plate again and again. Her visit with Dr. Nile will be her second attempt at weight loss surgery, so it's clear to see that food addiction has been a lifelong problem for her. Who do you think had the worst eating habits in all of season six? Drop a comment down below and let us know. Until next time, my name is Joey and you've been watching Plot Twist.